сначала ничего просыпается, просыпаемся, ничего не поймем, что это такое. Nadia and Vladimir Kostyuk are among the millions of Ukrainians who are fleeing Ukraine. Just a few weeks ago they came to Lansing to be with their daughter because they simply couldn't see themselves staying in Kharkiv. There was a bomb that was dropped right in front of uh, in front of their apartment building. Thankfully it didn't explode. It was stuck in the ground. And that was a turning point for for them like they they really saw the dangers and I think the that day they called us like we we need to get out of here. They lived their entire lives in peace. Bombs dropping in their city and next to their home was unimaginable. They're saying that it was very scary because they were afraid they wouldn't be able to leave the city. Uh, the city was surrounded, sort of. There were some shootings, so uh, even uh, cars or civilians were shot. Margarita Stevens and her husband are glad her parents are safe. They coordinated the entire trip to the US. And they had to pass through six other countries before crossing the Mexican border into Texas. Unfortunately, I don't know if they would have been able to make the journey with, without me or without someone who speaks English. And they came right before the U.S. announced the program Uniting for Ukraine that will help Ukrainians come here. The Kostyuks came here with humanitarian parole, a temporary permission to stay. According to the federal government, states or localities will not know when um, a Ukrainian individual or family are coming to the U.S. under Unite for, Uniting for Ukraine because there's no mechanism for tracking um, the way the federal government has the program set up right now. Which makes it difficult for local agencies to help. The state of Michigan is the third largest Ukrainian American community in the U.S. So we are we have school and we have churches here. We have all facilities to support them as a, as a Ukrainian community. And but we we would need uh, some state capacities to host them, to to um, train navigators who would be able to navigate those families, help them to settle up, help them to find a job. The Stevens say that sort of help will be needed. They're so traumatized uh, mentally. We really hope there are going to be some mental assistance. Now we feel better, but they still, like my dad, he still has nightmares every single night uh, about the war. And they, like all we hope for, honestly, is that the war will end. Nadia and Vladimir hope the war in Ukraine eases so they will be able to go back home because ultimately that's where they feel they belong.